Welcome back. We're playing in a 2023 September streamer battle. Uh, with us, we have eight other participants on this team. Anyone's welcome to join us. And without further ado, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. If things three, go well, we'll play the whole two. event. One, if not, zero. I might bail early. So, good luck everyone. Let's play my old tournament openings. The shoot super stuff, super sharp, dangerous stuff. And see how much I can get away with. Yes, in most tournaments I tend to play queen pawn openings, but... For this purpose, we'll play our best with this. Alright, we're already off to a great lead. Let's continue winning this tournament. 13. Alright. I am i can't return the favor, unfortunately. I'm not good enough with the mouse to do that. Uh, what we can do, though, is play a real opening and see if the opponent is prepared to do the same. Alright. Let's just unload this bucket of fireworks over here. <laughs> Knight c4 might be a queen sack. Sure, this could be fun. Um, knight takes, bishop takes. I confess I did not think this through, but it seems to be not completely failing. So we'll take that. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't know what I've done here. But playing... With this time circumstance, I guess, emboldens me to do some crazy stuff. So knight's no longer pinned, so I can play knight d4, bishop f5. Okay. I was going to say if knight f3, maybe I push the pawn and bring the bishop out while I'm doing all of that. That's a free rook. Well, looks like we're going to be 2-0. That's not a bad way to start the event. Again, I'm doing click, click, move, because um, generally my mouse input tends to be unreliable. Alright, back to tournament. How are we doing? Where's my team? Eighth place. Well, at least one of us. Oh, that's cool. We've got a national master joining us. Thank you very much. And please carry us to victory because we could use some help. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of strong players in this event. If you're curious where the coloring of the usernames and team names comes from, that's. Um, <laughs> I play tactically, and what is chess but a game of tactics? Um, I'm not doing, like, the LaFong thing, as exciting as that might be. Yeah, we play some really sharp stuff here, um, but isn't that what we agreed to play? It took me a long time to appreciate that tactics are a large aspect of the game. Yeah, there's considerable strategy, to, con uh, especially in slower games, to be considered as well. But, boy, you gotta have um, a very, very, very strong tactical awareness to play this game at the highest level. Uh, um, here, 
let's drop this back. Mm -hmm. This could be fun. Interesting. They intend something like Queen G4 next. I don't know that I have a good reply to that. Should I... This is messy. I had been planning something and they anticipated it. Oh, this is still fine though, right? And I could play F3. Always play F3. Um... Okay. This is frightening. Yeah, that's the word. All right, we bail out of some tactics here. I don't know what either of us is really doing. I didn't think they'd take that. Um, this is safe, right? There's no reason for it to be safe, but... <laughs> okay. Fine. Welcome. How's it going? I mean, if you check my user profile on Lee Chess, you see I fly the Antarctica flag. So, we belong to every nation, don't we? Oh my goodness. Are we seriously doing that? I guess I'll grab this. Um... Interesting. Let's get the king out of the way. Check. I just pinned my own bishop. I'm gonna drop the rook to some stupid tactic. And I lose. So, who's the one playing dirty now? Is it me? I guess it's me. <sighs> Let's see, what comment did I miss? But yeah, that's what the flag is next to the name. It says Antarctica. So... In Antarctica, there are the penguins, there's the ice. It's a nice, peaceful place, I hope. Man, maybe I should... What was that gambit that Rosen was trying to popularize? The Fugitive Penguin. I don't remember this. Perhaps I've heard of it, I just don't remember it. I've heard of penguins being discovered far from Antarctica, um, but I don't recall a fugitive penguin. Oh. Huh. That sounds like it did not end well. Sounds like the penguin would have been better served uh, not wandering off in that case. Yeah. But hey, penguins will do things for the views. I'm just kidding. 
Obviously, penguins don't think that way. Um, it's not like humans who do things for views on TikTok or something. All right, we got to defend this point. Uh huh. I see what the opponent's planning. Let's just bust that up. And then, let's see. Pardon maintenance noise in the background. I do my best to try to blank it out, but there's only so much I can do. Alright, so we got F5 in. Looks, oh, I was going to say I get the bishop pair, but I really don't. Oh, how fortunate. Verily, how fortuitous. Yeah. Let's just use big words. All right, I'll take one of those. Uh huh. All right. They offer a draw. You know, I'll just take it. We're not winning that game. I tried to play the Alakine. It didn't happen. So, here we are. Trying to support this team. If I finish in... I forget if it's the top 5 or the top 10 places within a team. It helps the team score. Hmm. Well... I guess to each their own. Boom! Headshot. Okay, I'm playing dirty. Um, still, you'd think that like playing good moves is a part of chess. Boom. Alright, how do we continue the attack? I guess... No, that doesn't quite work. Um... Yeah, let's advance the knight. <laughs> That's a pawn advance. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll take this. And then one of these pieces goes on e5. Not sure. It's got to be this check, right? And then this check. There's got to be some value to this thing. Um, and then it's not entirely clear. I know what I want to play, but it's just not the greatest move here. Let's just bring out a knight. And yeah, they block that. I'll check here. Take one of those. I think they see what I'm doing. Mm hmm. Okay. So I guess we'll go back here. Do I not have checkmate somewhere? Feels like there should be a checkmate. Castling might not help much. Yeah, this this king is reliving our penguin story with us. If the knight moves up, we take it. Um Oh, that's checkmate. I knew that. All right. Clearly, I... <laughs> well, I found some good moves. Here, let's do that one again. 
because that worked so well last time. How about this one? We're going to get entered into uh, the opening database with all these novelties. Just advance this. All right, so to make a real opening out of this, hmm, maybe we bring this knight out this way. All right, they seem to be hitting this square. I'll have to push e6 if they do that. Um, if they don't do that, then there's not quite as much to worry about. But yeah, playing without an increment inspires um, creativity. If you can call playing random moves creative. If they castle, you get a... Oh, this doesn't win an exchange. All right, we'll push here. Knight there would be nice if I could get away with it. Um, our opponent's got some plans, too. All right, we'll play knight e5 anyway. Yeah, well, if we're playing with an audience watching... We gotta do something to keep it interesting. And playing good moves it doesn't seem to be on the agenda, so we gotta play something else. Uh huh. Yeah, they still don't want me to play e6. So. Well, that stops me from. Well, maybe now I push e6 anyway, or f5. Or maybe I open this side of the board, which I probably should have done a long time ago. Um, we've got an open line for this rook. We might get one for this rook soon, if we're lucky. If knight takes, maybe c6 might be playable. If queen takes, we win an exchange. And then get to try to convert the endgame. Which is going to be ever so delightful. Just kidding, we're going to go checkmate them in the middle game instead. So, we got this planned, we got that planned. Well, this is mate, so let's just do it. Alright, so next... Um, let's see. What pawn have we not pushed yet? Oh, we faced this in a recent game. Looks like we're going to lose on time, just solely based on how instantaneous our opponent's moves are. Alright, we'll sack this. They don't even want it. That's fine. Take that. Then prepare to take this. Continue preparing to take it. If the queen moves, we can take it. Otherwise, we'll just take that, and next, I don't know, probably step into some dumb fork somewhere. Before we take this, let's hit the queen, so that my own knight is not hanging. Um... 
Oh, this endgame is lost. This is super duper mega lost. But let's pretend it's not. Let's pretend we have a chance here. Just in case we might. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I guess we bring the king over to try to contain this stuff. Our own king has been contained. Um, shit. We would have a really clever rejoinder to this if not for... Well, we fixed the tactic, actually. So... Yeah, now the opponent's stuff has been stopped. Uh, we can actually push this. Shit. Uh, I saw that. We were definitely planning this out. And didn't walk into some dumb tactic. No, we definitely have this planned and nothing is going wrong. We're not about to lose the entire game. All right, so what next? Push this. Okay. And then this bishop has to emerge. All right, back to tournament. Yay! All that effort for one point. There should be a bonus for most draws. Anyway, I seem to be in the top 10 or 15 or whatever for my team, so... My score does count toward our team score, but we also seem to be in last place as a team. Uh, let's push this. Oh, come on. Where... when do I get to play my fun openings? There we go. That's fun. We've brought the king out. Um, bring out this knight. Can I push c4? And then maybe someday there might be a tactic that isn't entirely unfavorable. So they did the... oh, okay. Fine. Whatever. Let's, let's prepare b5. They're going to castle this way. And I'm just going to break through on the queen side. Because development's for suckers. Um, all right, there's knight h3. Huh. Okay. Well, this is a disaster that's rapidly worsening. Still got to be some positive aspect to it somewhere. Um... Disasters give you opportunities to rebuild. There you go. That's a positive aspect. So we're just going to rebuild everything while sacrificing everything. It's fine. You can sacrifice the rook on h6. It's the hidden motive of this entire opening is to do this obscure sacrifice that ordinarily wouldn't work anyway. Oh, fun. Alright, we defend the knight. Um, they take here, we take there. This is all according to book. 
See, we get to give up the bishop here. And giving up the bishop, let us take this pawn. It's all book. All right. So now we're just down a knight. But we have the more advanced queenside pawn. And the king is closer to the edge of the board. So these are positive things. Just need to think positivity. And don't worry about the real problems in the position. Um... So, next. Okay, see, we got to connect our pieces. If we hadn't lost a knight, would our queen and rook really be connected right now? Hmm. Might be time for one more bit of positivity here. And that's by losing the game quickly, we can set up the pieces to play another game. Hmm. Our opponent is trying very hard to checkmate us. Like, they're looking for a very efficient mate. I don't know why they're expending the effort, but it's somewhat admirable. Um, interesting. So, I guess I'll cover my king this way. Uh, see if what plan they come up with for breaking that. Because I'm sure there's multiple good ways to break it. Let's push this to further improve our pawn structure. Yeah, okay. We got rocked. Who was that? Anybody we know? Wait. I'm trying to view my own history here. Uh, I don't know this opponent. And they don't have a title next to their name. Our win rate is 50%. So... Uh, I'll just play... Okay. It's a legitimate opening. Maybe not played for legitimate reasons, but, you know. The Danish Gambit, totally legit opening. Might exploit the fact that some players move before thinking. Um... Might not be good enough, though. Uh, I. So, yeah. I've lost all my opening advantage, and I'm rapidly finding ways to drop material somehow here. Um, but I do have advantage on the clock, so... That counts for almost nothing. Um, I mean, e5 is a decent square for this bishop. And I guess we'll take this and bring out the knight. I don't have a game-winning tactic here. Threatening to take this. I do take this. And then we win a queen. All according to book. Alright. So, that brings our win rate over 50% once more. Our team is still, well, in 10th place out of 11, actually. Yeah, we don't... It's taking us a while to get um, 
the level of interest that most teams have, but maybe if we played enough of these events, someday we'll be popular. I'd rather that the team do well than this be about me. Like, I don't think my own channel is anywhere near as interesting as the concept that endgames can revolutionize how chess is played. Um, okay, they're playing G5, G4, right? Actually, since they brought this bishop out, I can just take on g4 when they push that. Yeah. So they have to pin this knight. Oh no. I am going to be crushed by this. Oh dear. We're going to get out endgamed. I should have played c4. I sh it's not worth playing c4 anymore. My opponent is going to make a point to crush me in the end game. That's pretty funny. Um All right. No, pushing that doesn't do anything. We'll open some lines with the sacrifice if the opponent takes it, and they do. That's not entirely unreasonable to capture. Um, my problem is finding active squares for my pieces. So here we go. Let's tuck the king in over here. That's a nice shot. Um, pity I don't have a counter shot for it. I mean, this kind of works. Let's try it. Now they get to play knight f3 back into the pin. See, a knight takes e5, simply one a pawn. Oh, I could have taken the queen and taken a pawn. And it's not clear that that would have been much better. All right, we'll move the bishop somewhere useful. So we're down two pawns and up five seconds or so. Uh, we need to withdraw so that we can advance again. They're going to go there, but queen f4 defends a lot of stuff. Uh, let's pick the square instead. This is, uh, wow. Okay, we'll pick this square then. The knight can't defend everything. Not by itself. That is one monster of a knight, though. Okay, we'll keep this knight out of d4. Huh? So... Ay, 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 ay. Our opponent is just going to crush us and grind us down and stuff. Or they're going to play this very free spirited stuff that I'm not sure about. Like, why is the opponent going through this trouble? They could have exchanged into a much easier to understand endgame. Instead, we get all this. Um, they're so busy trying to set traps here. Uh, 
And maybe they'll eventually set one that I'll uh, that'll crush me. But the problem they'll face is that my pieces are active. Peace activity is paramount in these endgames. Um, actually, yes. I'm surprised they didn't flag me. If they'd moved faster, I would have been dead. Okay, we've got the Fromm Gambit. Everyone's favorite Gambit. Hang on! Queen E2's not part of this system. Queen E2's not part of this system, man. I fucked this up. Oh no. This could have hurt so much worse if the opponent played the right refutation. Um, oh, I forgot this pawn's still on d4. Interesting. Whatever. Alright, that was a fun game. Next game. Here, let's repeat what just happened. Okay. We'll play the Fred. Everyone loves the Fred. Alright. Whatever. This is fine. Is there something wrong? Nah, this is fine. See, we've got the more active pieces here. Uh, we control the center with our king. This king is all over that center. What could go wrong? Hmm. If they move the knight, we take the we go to c3 with check anyway. If they move the queen, we take the knight with double check. Right, check. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, sure. Don't try this at home. I guess I get the queen. Alright, I guess my king looks safe here. Let's just keep going. Alright, we take the queen. Well, that was exciting. Um... Can the king make a touchdown? Or will the opponent flag first? Huh. Touchdown! There it is. And mate. I guess in Blitz, never resign. Um... 
in normal chess, there might be good point to resigning, but in Blitz, I'm not sure you learn as much. So here we go. Oh wait, that's not the king pawn. No, this one's the king pawn. All right, we'll push this anyway. This looks safe. How many opening novelties will we invent today? Probably zero. All right, so we're just down a pawn for emotional compensation. Um, I might be planning... Well, bishop h6 is not in the cards anymore. I uh, might be planning mate on h7, though. Players tend to fall for it a lot. Um, huh, I guess I canceled my pre-move. I didn't intend to. But somehow my pre-move was there, and then it was not. So knight takes might be a threat. Um, hmm. Maybe no longer. Okay, the threat might be renewed. I don't know. Do we try it? It's really committal. No, we bring this out first. And then once the opponent starts taking all the pieces, then we sack the rest of them. Here we go. Oh, they have queen takes, don't they? I probably shouldn't play moves like that. Um... So, how do we continue this? We have to hit this knight. Yeah, this is what I should have pushed first. Because none of the rest of this makes any sense. Bishop takes a1 might be a bit too adventurous. Although even it might win here. Um... Set up the obvious threat, which they'll meet with just f5. Yeah. And what do we do next? I guess they take this guy. And I resign, because there's nothing I can do. There does come some point. Well, no, if they take that, I've got queen e2. Which doesn't do much, but uh, it's slightly better than nothing. Hmm. Yeah, my king's just going out for a walk. We've got a pair of bishops that are attacked, so... That gives us something to aim for. And if they exchange there... Wait, can I not move the... No, I can move the king. Alright. And we get to set up the pieces for the next game. That was pretty quick. So, I am still in the top 10 of my team, but my team is very firmly in 10th place. If we don't get out of 10th place by the one hour mark, uh, then that might be time to throw in the towel. So I mentioned at the top of the broadcast that if I play well, that I might keep going for the entire event. However, um, I hadn't considered the possibility that I'd do well and my team would not. This seems to be a first for that occasion, and I don't know that it's worth continuing playing the entire tournament just for that. Like, this tournament, this competition is supposed to be about promoting the team, not promoting my own thing. And if the team's not doing great, then... Is there sense in continuing to fight it? Or maybe we just regroup some other day. 
and play some other tournament. Um, whatever. Hey, look, we got to sack a piece. All right, whatever. And then we'll bring out these pieces. This looks safe. What could go wrong? All right, now I'm joining my team. Where the team's losing and in solidarity, I am losing. That's more like it. They just need to defend the square. They don't. And now we have a good endgame. Cut this off. Push that. Um, I don't have much choice. They do control the f5 square. But we can find a second front to fight on somewhere. Even if it's not easy to find the second front, um, there must be one. They're trying to do something tricky. It's not necessary for them to do that. Huh? But since they have, the flow of the game changes. Okay, we take the D file back. And then try to crack this open. They do control that square. That is one square among many. Um, they've given up the square. I might sack the rook. Interesting. Uh huh. All right. I control the promotion square, but not entirely. Okay, we take this and push. Push. And then a4 comes soon thereafter. So, can make threats on both wings. Um, I would push c4 if it didn't just hang the b-pawn. Uh, interesting. I guess we'll push c4 anyway. They missed a fork. Um, they missed rook d5 followed by knight c5. Oh, just kidding. That's mate. You know, I mentioned going to the one hour mark, but let's take a quick look at how we've done so far. So... Um, yeah, here's us. Here's my last two consecutive losses. With me commenting in the last one about this endgame. And commenting about how the opponent missed this thing. But no, they actually found the best form of it. Which is, they hit the rook, I save the rook, and they mate me, and they get to play the next game right away. So, that's the way you want to win your games. Um, win them quickly so you can go on and play the next game. And you do want to lose your games quickly too so you can go on and play the next game. So I guess I played that right. 
um, trading the rook for a knight and pawn apparently let all of that happen. But between my losing two games in a row, one of those being an endgame, having lost some other endgames in this mix, and our team being under 100 points in 10th place, you know, this might be a good time to call it. There are many good folks to watch, so maybe next month we'll come back and do better. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.